Hi, uh, my name is uh, Ray Chakur from Rashtronics. Uh, today I'm going to show our solutions for the uh, new Caddy and Skoda uh, gear shifters. Um, these are the uh, this is the gear shifter for the new Caddy, which uh, will be also the T7, and for the Skoda and many many types of Volkswagen. When we open this uh, module, so we have there is the these are the two can lines. We have to cut the can line. We have to keep the and maintain the switch, and uh, and here as the after we cut the can, so we connect the blue, a uh, blue brown to the uh, module side, uh, orange green to the engine side or to the gear shifter side. Then we take the power positive negative from the same connector here, on these lines as we can see. So there's the red line and the and the black to the brown. Um, uh, this is our uh, little module that is doing the the gear shifter there is no need for the uh, for the relay for the actuator so there is no actuator there is nothing no movement um, uh, we can use the round devices or we can use touch screens or just uh, plug into this rj12 any low effort switches uh, for shifting and uh, and starting and even voice cam uh, to show now uh, we started here uh, just to show there are uh, no errors in the dashboard no check engine uh, no the yellow triangle and also the VDS the VCDS so I scanned here all the uh, the uh, so it's connected in real time so it's reading all the time it's reading the uh, the engine and as we can see there are uh, no errors so now I'm going to to shift so as no uh, as any uh, normal system so you must press the foot brake even with the shift by wire one moment okay now here so there is the gear shifter so we must press the foot brake as we can see there is the signal there and then we can shift to drive shortly press Okay, so now we can shift to drive, we can shift to reverse, oh, sorry again, here, drive, park, neutral, reverse, and drive. Okay, and the system is always scanning, so there are no errors in the can, nothing can be seen here, only after we switch off the ignition, so all the connections will stop. Uh, we have the indication of course now and uh, i want to show also that we still maintain the factory switches so so the factory switch so you still can shift from from the uh, from the uh, from the factory switch so here for example i can shift to neutral press and hold for reverse uh, fully you have to press fully the to so you can see the drive here drive here so press again to go to the sport so uh, blinking meaning that you are in the sport position the same here so we can shift from uh, we can continue after we shift from the factory so we can shift here to neutral as, as we can see shortly press to go into uh, sport mode shortly press to drive mode sport drive and we can see also here s d s d no errors okay and even if we shift if we stop the engine with the gear and drive so it shifts immediately into park here i switch again the ignition the system can go directly into park and as we can see the system is still reading on the uh, the vcds no errors at all now if i switch off the ignition completely then the communication will stop with the many modules and then we can see many errors which are temporary but not stored and as we can see now it's reading it's in a constant now we have all these errors because all these motors are stopped now i'm going to press the foot brake start the engine and wait for the scanning again but as we can see there are no errors and no yellow triangle is seeing everything here now it's reading as we can see all errors are not uh, are disappeared. I didn't press any uh, clear all uh, errors. It's just um, auto refresh, what they call it. Again, 
press the foot brake. If I if I don't press the foot brake, there is no shifting. It's not possible. It's the same like the factory. So I press the foot brake, I press reverse. Drive. Neutral. And park. Thank you for watching.